time. We're oh no, liar. she's going duck hunt. I was just thinking like, when we're, when am I gonna see Zane duck hunt again? I'm I'm glad I see it today. All right, so instead, yeah, we're gonna be seeing the duck hunt. There's so. something about the matchup that Zane knows about Sora and Peach that we don't know. <laughs> clearly, <laughs> not not interested. Ooh, but all right, player four looking to get things started right now with the float cancels. Now I don't really know much about Duck Hunt as a character, so but I do know that Zane does use a lot of the exploding cans as a way to just kind of um, force the, his opponent or their opponent into a like into a certain situation where then they had to uh, like do something more exp like predictable. So using uh, she's using that like the, the exploding can like it's just staying there menacingly. I know, and I mean Zane's uh, Zane's can control. I believe we've seen in the past is really good. Zane just knows where to put all of these hitboxes in order to just send it at the weirdest angles that you would never expect. Ooh, okay, good di on that forward air. Not gonna be taking Zane's Z drop. first stock just yet. Mm -hmm. I love the air dodge. Like I'm a little gunslinger, and that's what Ooh. Zane does. She's able to kind of uh, manipulate her opponent into the into the exploding can. I think if Zane was able to get the can off of that last interaction, that could have been player four's first stock. Ooh, but oh. instead the goon, not quite just yet. Very close though, but that. Oh my god. Oh. Dash attack did it. I didn't like that sound. <laughs> Why does Duck kind of whine like that? Oh, what an awful sound. But at the moment, Zane is, try is you know, attempting to get player four's first stock off of him. And it, honestly, player four just has to really, like, the uh, play a little very carefully with the, with all these exploding cans that Zane she's just throwing out like like she don't care like here they come here come the cans and if you jump into them you're going to die. Yeah, that was great awareness by Player Four mm -hmm. right there. He got the Did back I. air and didn't extend his uh, didn't try to extend uh, because he knew that Zane had that can out. Oh but, my gosh. Ooh, okay, Zane was looking for some combos. All right, getting the disc. And that's when can out, getting the goon out. The disc. That yeah. cannon is such a distraction. Definitely can definitely like take your eyes away from like the fight for just a second, which maybe was that's what Zane also what they're trying to uh, accomplish as well with the can. It is. It's almost somewhat similar to uh, Pac-Man Hydrant in the way that it just draws your eyes. <laughs> it's like it's all the way over there. Is it gonna do something? I'm scared of it. And if you hit it, it's like when's it gonna explode? I'm a little bit scared. What's gonna happen? And then these like third and fourth, this player three and four over here are over here like coming into the game and just rocking player four and randomly at any time. Here comes explaining like, can. I, that can's so anxiety inducing. Yeah, Zane's been doing a great job of using it to cover their recoveries. Cause I mean, you know, Duck Hunt doesn't really have a hitbox on their recovery. Mm -hmm. But uh, <gasps> I think Zane died to the can yeah. there. Oh, that's tragic. It's uh, honestly not not. It is tragic on Zane's behalf, but also it's uh, not too bad like of, of a lead that Player Four has right now. You know, 121, 131 is a really high percentage. Can easily bring it back and make it a little bit more even. 50% uh, to 0% is not too bad if he's able. If like if like if Duck Hunt is able to not Duck Hunt, <laughs> <laughs> Zane is able to close it out her for herself. Oh no, that should have been e an easy forward air right there, but Zane uh, just wasn't confident enough. Mm -hmm. to run out there, but finally going to be taking player four's second stock. 61% now on Zane. Shouldn't be too bad again, even though it is like now deeper in the orange. Um, Zane should be able to kind of get a good combo starter going on player four. If she's able to kind of capitalize on player four's, you know, on Peach's recovery and like her slowness and how flowy she is as well. Yeah, and already right there, a couple of up air strings gonna be bringing this right back to even. Player four now with 60%. Oh, but Zane wasn't able to pull out the goon in time. And player four was able to react with the forward air. All right now, Peach floating at the ledge. <laughs> Very See, look, scary. This is a, that was a scary try that Zane has set for uh, for player four because she had the goon on the ledge, she had the can on the top of the platform, and player four kind of was just forced to stay in there for a little while. And uh, and just kind of be like, okay, now what do I do? Because that can is gonna either go, or that goon's gonna shoot me. But right now, Zane really in a really precarious situation right now. One thirty, one twenty-seven percent, almost one thirty percent, and player four at the, at the funny number. So, <laughs> God, this could be really really bad for Zane at the moment. Oh, oh that can. In hand. Player four's got a stitch. <gasps> he does. Yeah. Stitch. And oh. There it is. <laughs> well, yeah, stitch will do that. 
Sitch is also third player. <laughs> That was really interesting uh, in that clip right there. Zane tried to back air the can to put it in a much scarier position for player four, but it didn't react to being back aired. Can mechanics. I'm sure Zane knows why they didn't happen. I'm I'm not a can scientist. Me neither. I, I wouldn't know. I, d I didn't I didn't major in canology. <laughs> Thank you. I'll see myself out. <laughs> So we're gonna be running it back, same mm -hmm. characters. Uh, to On the battlefield. battlefield. This is the music choice. This is clearly for a music choice. Well, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I do agree with uh, Battlefield. I really feel like the uh, more vertical platform layout benefits Duck Hunt a lot more than it does Peach. Peach, a lot more known for her sort of horizontal combo game, which Player Four looking to show off right now. Ooh, didn't pull the trigger on the uh, platform situation, and Zane was able to fight their way out of the corner. Yeah, and right now, uh, like you said, I do think that Duck Hunt will serve well. Like he's way better on a vertical kind of like you know, the, the third path in the middle, rather than having to deal with like the no battle in the middle. And there we go, Zane. She's out here taking the first out of player four, and Duck Hunt is just chilling, like like chilling, bro. Duck Hunt is now in his element, has like the three platforms ready for him to use. Yeah, great use of Toad right there by Player 4, uh, but the spores themselves didn't actually connect. That was an awkward situation. It looked like the hitbox did not last nearly as long as its animation. And here comes Player 4, able to take out that first lock off of Zane, and honestly make it back to even, because Peach, she's, just a, she's a character who's able to really capitalize on those horizontal combos you were talking about earlier. So, again, Zane, she has to be careful with those uh, with those combo stars that Player 4 is so good at getting. Like, earlier we actually saw Player 4 rack up a clean 70% on... Um, God, I can't say who it was, but a clean 70% off of those combos. So Zane definitely has to be really careful here. Yeah, now we're looking at dead even percents right now. 65, both on the board. Now both at 80. All right, nice use of the uh, up air. That's another thing that I think Zane is getting a lot of off of Battlefield uh, in particular, is being able to use those high recoveries to make their way to the center platform. Because, I mean, certainly Duck Hunt has the verticality to do so. Oh, but a float cancel bear will be taking Zane's second stock. Zane taking a second to compose himself on the platform. Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out what to do in this kind of situation against player four. Because, I mean, Zane had a, a lot of momentum going into the first stock, so certainly not out of the realm of possibilities. Player four at sitting at red percents. Ooh, the disc is actually going to be breaking Zane out of that combo right there. Not able to connect the can from the top platform. Can on top platform can be so scary because it can it can just cover a lot of angles uh, just being dropped. Which we just saw earlier, it was going in a, like, a completely different direction that, that Player 4 was trying to go in, and it forced Player 4 to go to a, the other side, which capitalized on a little bit of a... Do you have a, another stitch? Are you serious? All right, well, Player 4 wasn't he? able... Yeah. <gasps> oh, but yeah. We're that back here. Zane wasn't mm -hmm. able to cover their recovery enough. Look, look, uh, this, Zane's using a game controller. Right. This is why Duck Hunt. I think that's why. Oh, Might be why. Because oh, Zane, Zane uses a hitbox. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I Might see. Might be it. So maybe more of a uh, comfort pick just mm -hmm. wasn't able. That God, makes sense. I do wonder, uh, Sora, like, what the Sora Peach matchup would look like with two like floaty characters. Someone and both characters can kind of fight off the ledge very well or off the stage. So I would have been really interested to see that, and hopefully we can see it maybe next time. Maybe. Uh, maybe next week, because you know, holidays. Everyone's <laughs> home. Everyone's in New York City. <laughs> All right. Let's see who's next. We have Sinji and Brett, so we're gonna see Pac-Man and Link coming up soon, which I think might be a little bit of trouble for for Brett because Brett has like loves to do a lot of like you know Link uh, boomerangs and arrows, and Sinji likes people who like to attack the hydrant. Right. So he he, he better be careful.